Thank you very much, Steiner. <laughs> Azerbaijan uh, Mine Action Program was established in 1998 by the degree of the President of Azerbaijan, and the actual uh, operations have been uh, started a year later, uh, back in the year 1998. Uh, uh, ANAMO has been implementing uh, a joint program between the government of Azerbaijan and the United Nations Development Program. UNDP were involved uh, from the very beginning, so relationship, relationship has uh, remained uh, central uh, in every aspect uh, of, of the program ever since. The initial aim uh, was to establish a national mine action agency that would have a capacity to deal with the mines present in the areas uh, at the time. Uh, but the intent was also to uh, have a national capacity in the country that would be sustainable and would have an ability to scale up rapidly when the situation demanded it. With the recovery of uh, liberated areas in 2020, uh, the need arose and uh, since then ANAMA has been focused on that rapid and wide-ranging expansion of capacity and capability in every aspect of mine action, which is necessary to respond to urgent and large-scale uh, needs of the current reconstruction and rehabilitation program uh, of the government of Azerbaijan. UNDP's role always was always and remains uh, one of the capacity development of ANAMA, other donors also provided uh, support and continue to engage actively uh, in the national program, including uh, the governments of UK, US, uh, France, European Union, and others. The support of the US uh, Department of State uh, from the uh, earliest days of ANAMA and practical mine action was greatly valued. Uh, and we hope that written, recent uh, meetings with uh, WRA uh, will pave the way uh, to further uh, for further successful cooperation between our two organizations in the future. A long-standing cooperation uh, with NATO con running continuously uh, for over 10 years, focused on the clearance uh, of unexploded ordinances from the former Soviet Union ammunition depots uh, and uh, stockpiles. I work uh, with the European, uh, U United States European Command uh, provided further help in developing of explosive ordnance disposal capacity within ANAMA. Uh, we also think that uh, regional security organizations like OSCE uh, which, which are based on comprehensive comp concept of security, uh, should also be assisting states uh, in addressing uh, the challenges uh, and problems posed by landmines. And we also welcome the feasibility study uh, currently underway by the OSC team here in Azerbaijan, and we look forward to establishing and maintaining a strong uh, and uh, fruitful cooperation between our two organizations. Other UN agencies uh, have also been instrumental in supporting key aspects of mine action in Azerbaijan, including uh, the support of the support provided by UNICEF over a period, I would say, decades uh, for explosive ordnance risk education, and UNHCR, who have recently committed to provide uh, some donation uh, in the near future. The range of uh, organizations engaged in mine action is, is expanding as rapidly as the program itself, uh, including international NGOs and international commercial companies working uh, in cooperation with Azerbaijani national mine action organizations, supporting their technical capacity development, but also bringing innovative aerial survey systems for the survey, for the remote survey of mined areas, which we have witnessed yesterday. Uh, UNDP provided technical advisors from the program inception up until the year 2005, 
uh, and again from the uh, year 2021 to support the exceptionally rapid cleaning up of national capacity in Azerbaijan. UNDP has always acted as a trusted fo focal point in raising funds uh, to enable national program uh, to go about its important work. Reflecting essential importance of clear communication and coordination of mine action is to be both efficient and successful in making a real difference to the people of Azerbaijan. After the war, a number of interministerial uh, working groups were established for reconstruction and rehabilitation of the liberated territories. ANAMA provides representative, representatives to sit in almost each of these working groups, uh, highlighting the fundamental importance of mine, actual, of mine action to so many aspects of the reconstruction program. That level of engagement across different areas of action is good for coordination and helps to ensure that before any reconstruction and rehabilitation work is done deliberated in the liberated territories, and any appropriate and necessary mine action is implemented. There is also a separate working group specifically for humanitarian demining. The members of that working group are the most significant ministers in the country. Uh, and this working group is chaired by uh, the ANAMA chairman, Mr. Vugash Suleiman. ANAMA is the primary coordinating body for humanitarian demanding in Azerbaijan, meaning that even the most significant ministers come under ANAMA coordination when it comes to demanding. Over the last few months, the national standards have been updated setting out roles and responsibilities and authorities within the National Mine Action Program, including accreditation, monitoring, and acceptance mechanisms. The standards include establishment of a single, unified reporting and information management system. This is done under the management of ANAMA and in accordance with the degree of the President of Azerbaijan. Priority setting comes directly uh, from the uh, Council of Ministers, which is an indication of seriousness with the mine action is taken and its central importance to the success of wider governmental agencies for reconstruction in the liberated areas. The Cabinet of Ministers is the highest executive body within uh, the government. The nature of mine and explosive remnants of war problem in Azerbaijan is such that there is a very clear and direct relationship between outputs of the system, of the uh, outputs of the survey and clearance operations uh, and benefits of returnees uh, uh, and the wider socio-economic system. Every area that is released is promptly used for constructing roads, railways, electric power lines, villages, schools, uh, and the necessary infrastructure of, uh, for the daily life sometimes is as little as a week after the mining has been completed. An annual work plan is developed uh, and approved by the Prime Minister each December. The Cabinet of Ministers oversee uh, everything, including the mining, within the overall strategic approach, offering a degree of integration, which is often difficult uh, to achieve in mine action programs uh, in other countries. Each area of land has its ministerial owner who submits it requesting a reconstruction work within an agreed priority list with mine action support work planned in, planned in advance as necessary. It is often said that mine action needs to be mainstreamed into development. In Azerbaijan, this has been achieved to an exception, exceptional degree. It will remain that way for the foreseeable future. The key challenges are of ensuring that the scaling up of capacity keeps pace with the urgent demands for reconstruction and development while maintaining quality, safety and environmental standards. The support from so many of the governments, organizations and in some cases individuals present today at this conference is the of our utmost value to Azerbaijan. I offer my grateful thanks 
for your past, current and future support to this essential work. And taking this opportunity, I would also like to propose that uh, at the end of the conference, uh, we summarize uh, the findings and uh, action points uh, from all uh, the panel discussions that we will have today uh, in the conference and uh, endorse it in the uh, endorse our recommendations and uh, conclusions in the form of the statement.